Hey, what's going on guys? So today, I'm going to be doing more of a review than an unboxing because I got this knife roughly a year ago and it's been a while since I've done a video. But yeah, so I'm going to do a review on the Benchmade 940 Osborne. Um, I've carried this knife up to a year and it's probably one of my f most favorite knives that I've ever owned. As you can see, I've put it some to some use. There's some scratches on the blade, unfortunately. I wasn't gentle with this knife. I used it for work, for uh, unboxing things, for basically anything you could use a knife for. I actually use this for cooking too, which is actually really surprising. And I guess, let's get into the review. First thing about this knife specifically is it's it's big. It's a big knife. Clo I think close is like f almost four inches. The blade is three and a half inches long. So it's like almost eight inches altogether. It's like seven and a half or seven and a... Seven and a... Seventy-fifth, uh, I guess. I don't know how to do it in inches, but it's almost eight inches long opened. Um, S30V steel can't really see it, but it's S30V steel. It's got the nice smooth access lock, as you can see. Very smooth. It's actually probably the smoothest knife I own. And it's not sharp. I am having a hard time getting it sharp, or paper razor sharp. Um, I don't know why, but it's really hard for me to sharpen S30V steel. I've had a, the hardest time sharpening this knife. Um, if you guys got any suggestions in the comments on how to sharpen it, that would be very nice. Okay. So it's got a purple titanium backspacer, which I really like. I like the purple. This reminds me about of a Joker knife. Like It looks like a knife that Joker would carry, almost reverse Tonto, for, I guess, more penetration. Um, aluminum scales, Benchmade pocket clip. Unfortunately, it's not deep carry, but it is tip up, which is nice. I do like tip up because it, you could just open it right away as soon as you get it out of your pocket. Um, I might buy a Lynch clip. I don't know. I kind of want this one to wear out first all the way before I get a new pocket clip. Um, steel liners, as you can see inside there. It's got the access lock, as I mentioned. Two th thumb studs, so you're ambidextrous. You could use it for your left or your right hand. I have a knife that I might do a review on later. It's the cold steel tie light, but it only comes in right-handed. or You only can use it with your right hand. So, um, yeah, this knife is pretty light. It's not heavy, and it's very thin, low profile. It's just really long, I guess you could say. Very light, very thin. Um, this is not my first Benchmade knife, though. I had two prior to this. I had the Benchmade Bug Out. That was my first Benchmade knife ever. I carried that one for maybe six months, and then I traded it. But before I traded it, I got the Benchmade Griptilian, the mini grip in pink. I liked it, but I didn't keep it. I, I gave it back in the literally the next week because I couldn't stand it. It was... Uh, the blade always got loose. I had to tighten the pivot all the time, and if I tighten it too much, it would get stiff, and it would like get stuck out to here, and then I would have to like push it. I didn't like the Griptilian that much. I wasn't very impressed. So I got this for my birthday. It's the uh, Benchmade 940 Osborne. The my retailer was selling it for 187 to tax. It came out to 200 even. Um, it's uh, I got the satin blade only because I didn't want a black blade. I wanted the original 940 Osborne, the one that um, everyone has or has had because it's the most in interesting, I guess. They had serrations. I don't like serrations. I like a nice flat blade with no serrations because I like... I don't know, I just feel like it looks like a cleaner knife without serration. So I got the non-serrated version, got the non-black version, and I also didn't get the 940-1 or 940-2. I got the regular 940. The difference between the 940-1 and-2, I can't remember the differences from the names, but the nine, one of the two has G10 as the handle scales, and the other one has carbon fiber as the handle scales. And basically, it just makes it extremely light. It doesn't have a titanium backspacer. It has barrel spacers, which are little, ti little tiny circles that 
hold the slabs together. Um, and I didn't really like that, that too much because I thought that would have been flimsy, but I was wrong because I, when I had the bug out, I was like, oh no, this is going to be a flimsy knife. It's going to break. I put that knife through an extreme amount of torture and it held up to everything. I pried, like, I put it in between bricks to pry bricks apart when I misplaced them, staples. Um, I used it for cooking as well and cutting steak. It was, it was a beautiful knife and I'm kind of sad that I traded it, but it's in the past. I'll probably buy a new one and maybe I might do a review or not, but I might get the Ranger Green version, the actual bug out, or I might get the mini bug out. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, back to this knife. This is my third Benchmade knife. Um, it's probably my favorite out of the th out of all three. Um, mostly because I feel more comfortable abusing this knife, and I know that sounds very harsh, but when I say abusing, I mean actually using just everyday stuff, opening boxes, cutting, like, food, or, like, um, using it for work. I usually use this knife, mostly because it's got a nice thick tip. It, um, tapers dramatically right here, and then it um, reverse tapers and it gets bigger and then it goes back to a regular taper so that's why I like it because it's got a thicker tip and it's easier to or it's harder to break this or bust this with the Benchmade bug out it had a very thin skinny profile blade that was meant for slicing and cutting not really meant through the abuse that I was giving it but I gave it through that abuse but you know it is what it is so yeah, this is the Benchmade Osborne 940, probably my most favorite knife that I own, mostly because it's lightweight, it's skinny, it's small, and it's extremely strong, and it, I just saw that they came out with the Benchmade 940 Auto, which I'm really excited about, but the only problem is it's like 250 bucks, um, and it's not legal in my state, so that's kind of a bummer, but you know, I might get it anyways. So yeah, Benchmade 940 Osborne review. Um, if there's anything you want to know about it, I will probably post a second video if you want. Maybe not. This is the first video back. And if you clicked on this video, then you've probably been waiting for a long time to see me do another review. And I'm sorry for the wait. I've been dealing with a lot. But thank you. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a comment. That's all. Thank you.